hi everyone and welcome to another episode where I will be reviewing three movies. So in this episode I have chosen a specific theme and yeah we will be seeing a lot of our eight legged friends. But yeah today's theme is spiders. 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 I mean <sighs> spiders they do make my skin crawl. Um, don't want to be in the same room as a spider, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem looking at them on the screen or in the documentary or, yeah, but I, I just can't be in the same room with a spider. So, yeah, it just uh, makes my skin crawl, as I said. So, yeah, when I first started watching Sting, it's one of the movies that I'll be reviewing today, I thought, you know, why not make a spider theme because the second film that i was supposed to watch also had spiders so i was like you know what let's do this okay the first film i will be reviewing is the movie sting it's from 2024 it's directed by kia roche turner it's starring jermaine fuller ryan Corr, lila brown noni hazelhurst and robin nevin so in this film we have a family and the oldest daughter in the family she's quite young though uh, she kind of discovers this spider that she then takes care of that then starts to grow and show signs of not being a regular normal spider and then it begins attacking people so yeah i heard a lot about sting before i started watching a film so i was quite excited i liked the poster i read what a film was about you know this young girl taking care of the spider that gets out of control it didn't remind me of that finnish movie uh hatching yeah where a girl is taking care of this creature and it gets out of control but i mean these are two very different movies so I kind of liked the whole presentation intro where the, you know, the character names come up and we see a little kind of animation of the spider with the text and I kind of liked that with the dollhouse and that was quite fun. I was a bit kind of confused about the tone and the vibe of the film. It seemed that they tried to go in a lot of different directions instead of focusing more on or leaning more into one way or the other so it doesn't feel very cohesive it feels like they tried to do a lot of things at once which doesn't really work for me I wish that they would have done is to lean into more more of the maybe dark horror comedy like fully that would work better or pull that back and just make this film really dark really serious and really dark and not try to just pick some from this genre and some from this genre and yeah kind of half acid so to speak so yeah i think it would have worked so much better to just go 100 percent into one of those i mean there were like fun moments it was like oh, this this humor kind kind of works you know oh, okay so this is the way they're gonna you know go with it and then there was no such thing for no comedy or humor for a long time and i was like okay maybe maybe that wasn't the way no and now it's very serious yeah or what and then it kind of came back sometimes uh, with the humor but it was you know <laughs> so few moments or few instances that it just didn't really work uh, like it wasn't uh, consistent enough uh, for me I do kind of like the setting uh, the characters they're okay uh, you know uh, the actors did what they could uh, and some characters were more interesting than others like they have a neighbor in this one uh, and the little girl goes to him with the spider and his character was quite interesting uh i would like to see even more uh from that character oh so, uh, and the like in the, the 
core of this film is not just like a spider movie it's like a drama movie oh i just see that my hair hair is, is out of control whoa damn <laughs> what is going on there <laughs> did what i could see i'm fully back to pink hair again a bit longer hair yeah so we'll see maybe i'll you know let it out grow really long again we'll see we'll see but yeah but for now i like it back to the film but yeah as i said uh the court's film is like a uh family drama uh which was okay but it felt just a little bit typical a little bit the story felt a little bit cliche a little bit typical um it doesn't really stand out from other like spider themed movies besides the fact that she is raising this spider i mean that was probably the most interesting aspect of this film just that she is raising it and it gets really big but other than that it yeah the movie kind of falls flat in a lot of aspects one effect that was really really good uh which i really liked there was like one kind of drawn up death that really really worked the build-up was good but other than that there really wasn't really that memorable uh kill scenes i got a lot of you know the spider was dragging people wrapping it in uh thingies and the webs and and we got a really huge spider which looked okay yeah it looked okay uh, i felt that this movie just isn't kind of unique enough uh to stand out among other movies uh, in this uh subgenre of spiders you wish that they had gone more into the fully horror uh comedy i wish that they had gone into the fully like horror comedy dark comedy humor like 100 percent like over the top that would have been so much fun and i think this thing would have been a lot lot better and also there's like a scene uh in the basement where a character he says if it bleeds we can kill it of course that is a reference to predator when arnold schwarzenegger's character says exactly that so that was a little bit of you know fun nod an homage to uh, a great film okay but yes so what will sting get from me hmm. i'm giving it a four out of ten yeah, 4 out of 10, not the best start, but maybe this next film will be better. Okay, so the next film that I will be reviewing is called Infested, or Vermin, also Vermin. Yes, so it's from 2023. It's directed by Sebastien uh, Vanisile, starring Theo Christine, uh, Sofia Lesafi, Jerome Niel, Lisa Niarco, and Finnegan Oldfield. Yes. So, yeah. They are speaking French in this film, it's a French film. So in this one, we have a bunch of people living in a kind of French rundown apartment. Uh, it looks really dusty, very, yeah, not really, you know, maybe the best building apartments uh, around there. You know, it's kind of run down. Uh, but yeah, the people living in this building, they suddenly face themselves up against these very very deadly spiders so yeah they have to fight for their lives in hearing the plot you may think oh you know we've heard this one a lot it doesn't sound special but i was very surprised by this film actually it is you know it kind of builds up a bit slowly not like not like slow slow but just more like quietly it doesn't start with like a big bang or this main character called Caleb and he's you know trying to get by you know trying to hustle and just starting businesses selling this selling that getting things selling things to, to try and earn a living you know the kind of a poor uh neighborhood uh the kids or the pe young, young young people trying just to survive just to make it by and it will do basically anything to survive so we can't we are kind of thrown into their struggle so already there there's something you know some emo emotional connection 
I do care for the characters. I, I am invested. You know, are, are they going to leave this building, this life? Will they, you know, find uh, something that will make them happy? Will they, you know, just have the... Just stop having the stress of not being, you know, of not knowing where... If they will get money, if they get food, well, yeah. So one day, Caleb, he's selling shoes he has like a storage of things one of the things are shoes and in one of these shoes uh, unfortunately there's a spider so yeah and then from there it just grows out of control and i mean this whole building is literally infested with spiders so this movie you know it has a clear tone clear vibe and it's very serious and the spiders and everything just fit the tone perfectly and actually they used 200 huntsman spiders in this film yeah because when i when i saw the spiders i was like you know i is that a, that that looks like a huntsman spider like for sure because i've seen i've not seen them for real of course but i've seen a lot of documentaries and videos about them and i'm like that looks like huntsman spiders and then I read that they were, so I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> spider expert over here. <laughs> I mean, the scenery is kind of unbelievable because the, the spiders are real. And you see the, these characters like going through them, going through the web. And you, oh, it made my skin crawl. It really did. One bathroom scene was really cool. There was a woman she sees a spider and she, you know she's scared of a spider hunts, uh, hides in the shower uh calls for her boyfriend and her, his friends they try to get it out and suddenly it, everything just overflows with spiders and it's just oh ah that, that that is very very creepy i i was certainly you know scratching try you know i was like oh there's probably spiders in my hair my clothes everywhere that's how i react when i see a spider i think it's automatically on me or something yeah so i yeah I, I i was itching for sure but yeah that that just shows that this movie is really well made they know how to build up a scene to make it like uh. <laughs> especially for people you know who maybe are not big fans of spiders in particular yeah and also i have to say the acting was really really good there were like some scenes that really stand out that there's some dialogue between characters and you, you can just sense the truthfulness and just the intention behind every line that is being said being said with such intensity and just such credibleness that you, you just believe it you believe that these characters are living in a situation right now and the yeah whatever you're seeing it just feels very natural so I really applaud the acting uh, from everyone. It, it was really good. So then we have some side stories and side characters, which also kind of adds to this film, makes it very, even more interesting and more like it ends up the amp uh, and just adds another stressor to this whole situation. Yeah. If you're more on the serious uh, side of like creature features or, or spider movies, then this one is definitely worth a watch. You, you have to watch this. As I said, it goes both under the name of Infested and Vermin. Yes. So, what will this movie get from me? Hmm. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So an 8 out of 10. Good movie. And let's see if the third one keeps this up as well. Okay, hey, so in the third one, we have eight legged freaks. Yeah, I think a lot of you probably know and have seen this film. In 2002, it's from Elroy Elkayan. It's starring David Arquette, Carrie Wooer, Scott Terra, Scarlett Johansson, Doggy Dog, and Tom Noonan. So in this one, we have these venomous spiders that have been exposed to some toxic, toxic fluid. Uh, that have been spilled into the oceans or seas or, or water yes and then we have David Arquette's character coming back to town to town where he's from 
and then now they have to fight these giant spiders yeah i mean this movie has obviously fully leaned into the uh, comedy side uh, of this uh, genre and yeah i mean if they wouldn't have this movie wouldn't have worked at all uh because you know the spiders they are uh, cgi like all spiders are cgi they put a lot of money into it i think the this had like a 30 million dollar budget and a third of that budget so 10 million dollars went to the cgi yeah so these are spiders for 10 million dollars in 2002 and if the movie would not have been comedic the these but you know because they look cgi uh but but because it's a comedy it works so for this type of vibe and style it works yes uh but if it would have been like really serious like we say infested the movie i just talked about it would not have worked at all i think in my opinion but yeah since this movie you know is funny we have uh dialogue is funny the characters are funny the spiders are funny y yeah in, in a sense they are they are it's kind of, kind of behave in a funny way they, they kind of look funny when you see the close-ups and they, they sound funny they even sound funny they, they, they kind of sound like they are laughing in some scenes yeah like the spiders uh, it's a horde of them and they are like laughing while they're running and trying to attack people so yeah th that was a really fun detail and also the attacks are quite funny yeah uh and the characters you know uh, i do care about them uh they get introduced they have like some sort of dialogue ex exchange and in that short span of time we know enough about the characters to kind of know who they are and to kind of make us care about them even characters who seem kind of douchey they, they kind of get redemption and, and we do still kind of care about them I do really like uh, in the beginning there's a young boy he visits this man who has like a ranch in he, where he collects spiders yeah so it's Tom Noonan and we see them uh, having this uh, dialogue exchange and they're talking about spiders and the young boys you know very fascinated about the spiders and he's just going like wow this is so cool it's like fun to see the spiders it's fun to hear Tom Noonan talk about it and just the scenery how everything is set up, how it looks, uh, it's very cool looking. Of course, we also see this guy driving a truck, carrying something, and then something happens, uh, and that big thing that he has been transporting falls into uh, some water. You know, it, we immediately know what, what is gonna happen. I mean, this isn't our first rodeo. We see like a barrel, something fall into water, into the lake, whatever. We know that that's gonna be toxic. The creature's gonna be affected. And yeah, they're gonna be mutated. Yes. I do really love the title. I read that this movie was supposed to be called Iraq Attack. Uh, but since, you know, the war in Iraq, uh, you know, that title just didn't seem right and it, i think it was david arquette or a character during the filming who said eight-legged freaks and they it stuck and i think that that's a much better title if i have to be honest because iraq attack doesn't really bring out that comedic touch to it which eight-legged freaks does you, you hear eight-legged freaks you know it's gonna be a funny movie yeah there's also such a funny scene <laughs> where there's this big spider coming at the characters and they're like what are we gonna do what are we gonna do and here we have what like we shoot it and then they're like they spray it <laughs> it's just a funny reaction yeah you're seeing you know this town full of these huge cgi spiders who look funny they move funny they jump funnily yeah uh as i said because of the humor uh it does work and i also read that this film the pre-production started like seven months before principal shooting commenced because they wanted to make sure that the you know cgi spiders that everything worked uh with the cgi spiders that everything got done as much of it as they could because you know that takes a lot of time to create those 
creatures. So that is why they began pre-production like seven months earlier. And yeah, I'm glad they did. <laughs> like the cast, you know, there are well-known uh, actors uh, that really work. You know, David Arquette, uh, he works in this type of uh, comedic uh, scenery. You know, he was in a lot of things, uh, you know, Scream, where he also played kind of go goofy character. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this type of characters is right up his alley, so... I mean, obviously he did a good job, and I expected him to do a good job with this type of character. Then we have Carrie Wu, you know, she was in Anaconda, uh, she plays the sheriff in this one, and her daughter is Scarlett Johansson, uh, and the boy I mentioned earlier is also in the family. They do have a family dynamic that really works uh, between them. So I think the three of them as a family works really well, and then, you know, we have all these other characters coming in to interact with them and I think they kind of bounce off and work uh, really well uh, with each other uh, in every scene. I want to see Scarlett Johansson, you know, she was quite young in this one and she, she did a really good job. Uh, she did. She also, she had good screams. Yeah, that was one detail I noticed. She had really good and believable screams because she, the spider attacks her. She, yeah. It was fun rewatching Eight Leg Freaks. I mean, it had been a while since I first saw the film. I think maybe, yeah, I saw it maybe a few years after it was released. Uh, I bought it on DVD and I found it quite funny. And then I saw it now. So it was many, many years ago. Uh, but yeah, it was just as funny uh, as I remember it to be. Uh, it's a movie that I can rewatch with without any trouble. So, what will Eight Legged Freaks get from me? Hmm. I get a seven out of ten. Yeah. yeah so seven out of ten. Uh, not as strong as Infected or Vermin, uh, but a fun film, uh, which does stand out among other like uh, horror comedy spider movies and other like C. CGI based uh, spider movies. It does really stand out and I did have a really good time watching it. So if you haven't seen it, please do. But yeah, that is the end of this uh, spider infested episode. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and please, if you like this video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. There's a lot more reviews, special videos coming up. And also, please comment a little it's a bit spider for me if you made it all the way to the end yes <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope you have had a great weekend and that you will have a great upcoming weekend bye